Did you know that over 1 billion people live in countries that are considered dangerous according to the Global Peace Index? There's an entity, the Institute for Economics and Peace, that annually releases this unique report. The Global Peace Index measures the safety or danger level of a nation, employing 23 different indicators. These include political terror, internal conflict deaths, and murder rate. This assessment covers 163 countries, representing over 99.7% of the world's total population. It delves into three primary areas, safety and security, ongoing conflict, and militarization. These categories encompass factors like the number and severity of internal and external violent conflicts, the level of distrust among citizens, political instability, potential for terrorist acts, number of homicides and military expenditures as a percentage of GDP. Each nation gets a score based on these factors. The higher the score, the more dangerous the country. Now that we understand how countries are evaluated, let's dive into the 10 most dangerous countries in the world. Starting the countdown, at number 10, we have Iraq. Nestled in the heart of the Middle East, Iraq has been a hotbed of conflict for many years. Its ranking on this list is due to various factors, all adding up to create a complex and volatile situation. Political instability is rampant, with the nation's government often changing hands and struggling to maintain control. This, in turn, has led to ongoing internal conflict, as various factions vie for power. Furthermore, Iraq has become a high-risk area for terrorism, with groups exploiting the nation's instability to further their own agendas. Numerous violent incidents and the constant threat of a potential attack have unfortunately become part of daily life for many Iraqis. These factors combined have pushed Iraq into the 10th spot on our list. Next on our list, at number 9, is Sudan. A land of stark contrasts, Sudan's rich cultural heritage is often overshadowed by its tumultuous history. The country has been grappling with civil unrest for decades, which has significantly impacted its safety ranking. Political instability in Sudan has been a persistent issue. Coups, protests, and power struggles have been part of the nation's narrative, leading to a sense of uncertainty. This instability fuels conflict, creating a cycle that's hard to break. Ongoing conflicts, particularly in the Darfur region, have also left deep scars on Sudan. These conflicts, often driven by ethnic tensions and control over resources, have led to significant loss of life and displacement, further exacerbating the country's challenges. Coming in at number 8, we have Somalia. Nestled in the Horn of Africa, Somalia is a country plagued by a myriad of challenges that have significantly hampered its development and safety. For decades, the nation has been marred by ongoing internal conflicts, largely fueled by political instability and the struggle for power among various factions. The absence of a strong central government has left a power vacuum, creating a breeding ground for lawlessness and, unfortunately, high crime rates. From piracy off its coast to violent crimes within its borders, Somalia's security situation remains precarious. Moreover, the lack of governance has hindered the provision of basic services, further exacerbating the country's woes. Education, healthcare, and infrastructure are all areas that require urgent attention, but the ongoing strife has made progress difficult. At number seven, we find Ukraine. A nation caught in the crossfire of East versus West, Ukraine is a country where political turmoil has become the norm. The ongoing conflict with Russia has proved to be a significant factor in its ranking on the Global Peace Index. The annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014 sparked a conflict that continues to this day, with skirmishes along the eastern border becoming a common occurrence. Moreover, this conflict has led to a series of economic issues. The country's economy has been greatly affected, with a significant decline in growth and an increase in inflation. Corruption in the political sphere also looms large, further destabilizing the country's economy and governance. Halfway through our list, at number six, is Russia. This vast country, spanning 11 time zones, is no stranger to conflict. Russia's geopolitical influence and military involvement in different regions have often been the core of international debates. The annexation of Crimea in 2014, continuous involvement in the Syrian conflict, and alleged cyber warfare activities are just a few examples of Russia's global footprint. On the domestic front, Russia faces its own share of unrest. From political dissent to economic challenges, the nation is frequently under the spotlight. High levels of corruption, 
restrictions on civil liberties, and the government's strong grip on media are some of the issues that contribute to its ranking on the Global Peace Index. Despite these challenges, Russia remains a global powerhouse. With a rich history, diverse culture, and significant natural resources, it continues to be a key player on the world stage. Moving into the top five, we find the Democratic Republic of Congo. This Central African nation has been plagued by a series of internal conflicts and political instability since gaining independence in the mid-20th century. The vast mineral wealth of the country, rather than being a boon, often fuels conflict and corruption, as factions vie for control over these lucrative resources. Political instability further exacerbates the situation, with power struggles and a lack of effective governance creating a breeding ground for violence and unrest. The crime rate, particularly in urban areas, is also a significant concern. This is largely driven by economic hardship, a lack of employment opportunities, and the easy availability of small arms. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a nation steeped in rich culture and abundant natural beauty, yet it remains one of the most dangerous places on Earth. At number four, we have South Sudan. Emerging as the world's youngest nation in 2011, South Sudan was born amidst a backdrop of optimism and hope. Yet, those dreams soon met the harsh realities of nation-building. South Sudan is a nation gripped by relentless internal conflicts. Tribal tensions and power struggles have ignited civil war multiple times, leaving the country in a constant state of turmoil. These conflicts, coupled with political instability, have created a volatile environment that threatens the safety and security of its citizens. Moreover, South Sudan is facing a severe humanitarian crisis. Millions of people have been displaced and the country is grappling with widespread food insecurity and a lack of basic services. This dire situation has been exacerbated by the country's economic instability, further compounding the hardships faced by its people. Coming in at number three is Syria, a country that has been in the grip of a brutal civil war for over a decade. The conflict, which began in 2011, has escalated into a full-blown humanitarian catastrophe. As a result, millions of Syrians have been displaced from their homes, leaving them in desperate need of aid. The situation is further exacerbated by the political instability that has permeated the country. Syria's government, opposition groups, and various international actors all vie for control, contributing to the overall volatility of the nation. This instability is not just a concern for Syrians, but for the entire world as it fuels the rise of extremist groups and disrupts global peace. At number two, we find Yemen. This nation, perched on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, has been in the throes of a brutal war since 2015. The conflict, involving a complex web of regional and international players, has plunged the country into a humanitarian crisis of staggering proportions. Over 4 million people have been displaced from their homes, and more than 20 million are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance. Basic necessities like food, clean water, and medical care are in short supply. The healthcare system is on the brink of collapse, with outbreaks of cholera and other diseases posing a constant threat. The political landscape is equally chaotic. The internationally recognized government is locked in a power struggle with the Houthi rebels, a scenario that has led to a stalemate, prolonging the suffering of the Yemeni people. Finally, at number one, the most dangerous country in the world is Afghanistan. In the heart of Southern Asia, this nation has been battered by decades of ongoing war. The scars are evident in the daily life of its citizens, with political instability and terrorism adding to the perilous atmosphere. Afghanistan is a country where conflict is the norm rather than the exception. Its history is marred by a series of wars, invasions, and occupations that have left a lasting impact on the nation's security and stability. The ongoing war has not only claimed countless lives but has also displaced millions of Afghans from their homes. Political instability compounds the issue. The government struggles to maintain control, while various factions vie for power. Likewise, terrorism is a constant threat, with groups like the Taliban and ISIS causing havoc. Having journeyed through the 10 most dangerous countries in the world, it's important to reflect on the harsh realities we've discussed. Each of these nations bear their own unique struggles, yet they share a common thread, survival against overwhelming odds. By shedding light on these issues, we can foster a deeper understanding of the complexities within these regions 
and advocate for sustainable solutions to create safer environments for all. Let us not only acknowledge the perils but also strive for a world where peace, stability, and prosperity prevail across borders.